and welcome listeners and viewers. Uh, Ultra Mega Sports Show has not put on a video for quite a while. I haven't even been on the show on the radio for quite a while, so I decided let's post a video. It's about time. It's the middle of the first round of the playoffs. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you already know my picks. I uh, are quickly just go over them. No need to go into detail. But in the East, I had Washington over Montreal, Philadelphia over New Jersey, Buffalo over Boston, Pittsburgh over Ottawa. And in the West, I have Colorado over San Jose, Chicago over Nashville, Vancouver over LA, Phoenix over Detroit. So, there's no point in making a preview video of the playoffs since we're halfway through. But one thing I want to talk about is the different makeups of some of the teams. You have the superstar teams, you know, the teams with a Vetchkin in the backstrom, they really heavy loaded on that front line. Or you have the teams that are more well-rounded, the the whole teams, the Colorado Avalanches, the, the LA Kings kind of teams where maybe they don't have that superstar power, but they have that good team makeup. And it's really interesting watching how this is working out through the playoffs uh, so far. Because in, in the Washington-Montreal series, you're, you're seeing superstar at work. You're seeing Alexander Ovechkin ripping apart the Montreal Canadiens with the exception of that first game. And and if you're watching the series, Montreal's a good team. Last game, Montreal outshot them 2-1 to one, uh, through two periods almost. And they were, they were dominating them in play, but it was still 2-2 going into the third period. And it was just like, Ovechkin, take over. He scored... Like, uh, Ovechkin had a great game, I believe he had two goals in that one, and it was just like, it was all him and and his top line and, and his show, while Montreal actually played a better brand of hockey, if you're noticing, they were controlling the play, they were controlling the pace, but, you know, Montreal made a few mistakes and the superstars took over, and that was great for Washington. In other series, you have you have great match, matches matchups against two different teams that are superstar versus uh well rounded teams you have San Jose, obviously that front line, uh Team Canada's best line and the best line in San Jose with Heatley, Marlowe and Thornton going up against Colorado's uh really well balanced team full of full of young guns but really a balanced team and they're two two in their series. And then you have LA and Vancouver who has their you know their Henrik and their Daniel Sedins uh, and whoever plays with them frankly on that top line versus a a a, a very, very deep LA line who just seems to be getting it done, they're tied 2-2. Anyway, I guess all I'm asking is, what do you think is a better team makeup here? Because uh, we we have some of those superstar lineups with just kind of one big line uh, faltering in some games, but really at least tied in the series, but we have in Washington, of course, them dominating Montreal. We have Pittsburgh, too, of course, but they're, they're a deep team all the way across the board, so it's hard to say that they're just a one-line pony, but... Uh, I just want to know what you think is a better team makeup. Do you really want your just a, your superstar line, or do you, would you rather prefer almost four second lines, uh, a team that's fully deep? Leave a video response or a comment. That's enough for me. Uh, listen to the Ultra Mega Sports shows on Mondays at 12 noon. Uh, you can hear the latest news and commentary on all that's happening around in sports throughout the week. And of course, subscribe to this channel wherever the subscribe button is nowadays, and you'll get some great content there. So. Thanks for listening.